Hey everybody, it's BC here, and welcome to another episode of Planet Nomads. As uh, a lot of you have noticed, I've been working on a bit of a project the last couple of weeks here. and uh, I have been making some progress, but not as much as I'd like. But as you can see, we're actually, we're actually walking. I have been redesigning this thing a few times, trying to work out different mechanics and whatnot. And this seems to definitely work a lot. It had to do with... Uh, the placement of the main body here in relation to the hips and the knees and because I had the, knee, the knees so far forward and the hips so far back it naturally wanted to lean backwards another thing I did too and uh, hopefully it doesn't get away from me on this because it does move at about 10 kilometers an hour is I put the hover pads on a bit of an angle so as it's lifting up it's also pushing forward at the same time and it's relatively working but you can see what the problem I'm dealing with is here and this is why it's just a bare skeleton uh, even though it's not as much of a weight as you would think it is and even though I've got the generators here and I've tried balancing this with beacons it just becomes excuse me it uh, comes not necessarily too top heavy but uh, as soon as the weight shifts a little bit it wants to stay there and the hover pads they can sort of push but but not enough then another one too, and I have yet to update the the clock I uploaded in the workshop, and I might re might rebuild it because I know how to time this a little bit better. But I have redesigned the clock here, and he is pushing me. He is moving a little bit too fast. Let's get up here if I can. Go stand on his hips somewhere. But as you can see, I got rid of the tire. All I have here is I have three hover pads facing one way and one facing the other. Uh, one of them is actually turned off. That is the the fast mode. This is the best timing I can get. I gotta stay within a hundred meters of him or he stops moving. Uh, the best timing I can get without it skipping. Uh, if, I'm gonna rework it where I double up the hover pads. It's hard to land on a moving platform, I tell you. It's like I'm all lined up with the leans forward or leans back. But but yeah, so be able to get better. Oh, I hate that. You fall off a platform, hit space, and you don't start going up. But anyways, as I was saying, uh, add another row of hover pads on it and get a like a 4 to 3 ratio or like a 5 to 2 ratio or something to get better fine tuning for like a mechanic. And now this is a perfect time to set up another thing I have set up here. Steering. It's not the fastest, but all I'm doing is I'm turning off some of the pads on this side here one row so this doesn't move as much and this side just sort of pulls it it's kind of slow but for I think he's somewhere around 200 tons right now and that's including the legs and the arms which don't work there was actually big giant motors around there but that made this part so difficult the arms did work I, that's actually what uh yellow switch here was for that was actually to control those arms you can see the switchboards down there uh, arms did work but then because you had the big blocks here and the extra weight there as soon as it created this topple either forward or back which you could see it happen right here uh, it became too much for it to correct itself and the legs couldn't actually lift now i do believe we are turning just really slowly and then uh, i also had the extra hover pad down there on the spinner hooked up that switch and as you can see he sort of shuffles a little more might be a little bit better for turning probably not but and I call it the slow mode even he shuffles like an old man uh, anyways so that is that is Robbie that is what I've been working on and like I said it could have worked out better but it's gonna work out better with the next project we'll be working on uh, I'm just gonna be probably working on it today and just get a video up either later tonight or first thing in the morning or something. It's been a bit of a request for the, from the devs, and that's to redo this doing an AT style. And I think I that will be more possible because I'm not having to fight this this tower flopping back and forth, and that's what's really killing this project. Uh, there's real no way I I can uh, fix that because I need the movement in the in the hinges and the hips unless uh, let's get out of here get out of first person and i don't want that on yet but it's all about 
center about center of mass. Now we get up here, we get, get the laggy build vision back on. Now the center of mass here is right there. Now this doesn't count these arms. Like uh, it'd be nice if they could incorporate the center of mass into one, like not only individual grids, but one main center of mass. But we get in here and you can see it's 174. But as you can see, it's high, it's above the hips. And you don't want that. Uh, having this up here too isn't actually being accounted for in that, and that's why it's flopping back and forth. If I were to put a beacon underneath here, that's going to bring that mass down significantly. But the question is, uh, one, is it going to look appropriate? And two, is it going to be enough? Come on, let's get up there and see what happens here. All right, now the center mass should have dropped down and it went down right to here, which is better, but it's also sadly another, what, uh, 10 tons heavier. Then you can see the problem where he can't walk now because it's too much weight. So that, that's been the, the struggle I've been dealing with on this one. That's not what I want to do. Get out of there, get that out and let him walk. Now, I, I could overcome the whole weight problem by going more hover pads, but more hover pads means more more power, more power means more weight, more weight means more hover pads. So, we'll see how this goes. Um, I've been sort of talking with the guys over there, and I have an idea of things coming up, uh, you know, to, to get anything better than this might not be for a few months yet. But either way, I'm happy with it. Like, where did we start from? I can't even see where we started from anymore. I think it was over there somewhere. But he's still walking. Let's get up there and go for a little bit of a ride. I'm going to steer and avoid these mountains. Maybe what I'll do is I want to record a little bit here and do a little bit of a time lapse. Oh, if I can land on that moving platform. I actually had a, a proper head set up, sort of. I had posts coming up corners, and I was actually using the large greenhouse as sort of like a, like a brain in a jar. And I thought that would have been a beautiful touch, but unfortunately it weighs a ton, so that was just a ton of weight at the furthest point from the, the pivot point. Too much. Anyways, let us do this.
There is Robbie, my second attempt at a bipedal walker. Uh, unfortunately, the bipedal is going to be a little tricky to work with. I think the only way it really works is if you were to stick some air blades up there uh, using the hover mode to keep it the, the, the weight off the top just so it stays a little more stable. Other than that, it does work. Uh, I might even, I'm actually considering using this idea with another spider attempt. I, I still want a giant metal, walking metal spider. If you've seen Wild Wild West, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Uh, well, yeah, that's going to be it for this one. Uh, I'm going to be working on another one here pretty quick. Uh, like I said, it's going to be a, it's going to be a four-legged version. It's going to be a little more stable and it's hopefully going to be more functional and hopefully should work out really good. But anyways, uh, thank you all for watching. hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave me a like and I will see you in the next one. Later.